You're on to the program that takes you through the world of creativity in just 30 minutes. A warm welcome to Art House. I'm Melinda Akinami. As usual, we have loads of artifacts lined up for you, but you have to stay tuned and see them after our Artie quote. We begin the show with this solo exhibition done by this contemporary artist at a gallery in Lagos. Bicycles are certainly not one of the things any visitor expects to see at an art exhibition. I found it rather colorful, intriguing, different. Um, the simplicity drew my attention because it looks like something you can do but when you draw closer you, you see the creativity and you see even slight complexity in the work. Um, I admire his work, I'm intrigued with the bicycles he has here. He's a rider, I own, he rides. I know the last time there was this tow cycle that was very nice and now I'm seeing like a whole lot of bicycles and wonderful, wonderful arts. This actually needs to be reached out to the world. There's like so much concept behind everything. I'm a conceptualist, so I'm actually picking each paint by paint and telling the story to myself. But the contemporary artist, Sylvester Aguda, is moving away from the norm in this show called Art Cycles. Um, today I'm happy to say that I hope over 100 artworks and I've been able to do that within three to four months and you know it's a, it's an exceptional skill it's a God-given talent you know and um, I've been privileged through my work to meet quite a lot of prominent Nigerians and some some build some collector base outside Nigeria as well so this is fun for me it's something I enjoy doing the self-thought artist began by making cards before he upped his game and delved into other mediums and decided to ditch his white-collar job to focus on art squarely. It's a talent I've had and you know I've just renewed my interest and then I've started doing this all over again. I've been doing uh, art for 25 years now. My specialty is paper cardboard collage, you know, using different kinds of cardboards in different milligrams and different textures to interpret ideas, you know, culture, heritage, and then one of my greatest fun is to play with colors. Before now, I've been in the corporate world, you know, I've worked as a senior sales manager in some of the multinationals in Nigeria, but today I found my passion. <laughs> to do something extremely different. So I discovered that I could use cardboard sheets. I, 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 I developed this talent for making handmade cards. But for making small handmade cards now, I've been able to do bigger works of medium. I'm able to work on large sheets like 48 inches by 60. I'm able to interpret different concepts. And so that's what makes it unique. I'm able to paste pieces of papers on different layers. Sometimes my work have up to 18 to 22 layers of paper to the surface to, to, to give you the interpretation of what I want to express. So it's a bit technical, could be very difficult and um, abstracts basically. Abstracts are one of my favorites. They look very simple but a bit complex. So collage is my greatest medium while spray paints, photography, photo arts are the other ones that I do by the side. His works are very colorful and unique creations, laced with themes that talk about the African heritage, culture and tradition. Heritage, they talk about our people, and then there are some pictures that I love, that have been, that are inspiring, that I've been able to replicate, that I've been able to do in my own medium here, which is photo art. So I do that and I do photography as well. Photography is one of my special hobbies. I take pictures across the country, you know, things that catch my attention 
and then I'm able to interpret them in art. Collage is one art, uh, one media of art that you don't find a lot of artists doing in Nigeria. And he, at that time when he also mixes, he mixes um, um, paintings or spray on canvas with collage. And uh, that is very, very, very unique. And for me, as a curator, I tell, most times I tell the story about the work. It's been interesting working with him because his works covers things that have to do with nature, the environment, his work preaches um, peace, unity among humans across the world. His work preaches and uh, promotes the beauty of Africa. Today, art is very dynamic. There is no ugly art. Every art is beautiful in its own way. And today, a lot of people who have not studied art or read art formally in institutions are doing very wonderful works of art. So art is something that's divine. It's, it's, it comes in naturally. So, I just want to tell people that you, we all have some art in us. You being a collector or you being somebody who loves art makes you an artist as well. You don't have to be physically involved in drawing it or doing it, but we're all creative in one way. So uh, today, we are doing different things. You have people doing hyper-realism. You have people doing collage works. I'm doing collage works, and I call myself the Nigerian collage artist because I found out that a lot of other people could do collage. So I'm trying to promote the collage work where I'm using cardboards to do more things and then get more professional with it from time to time. And unlike other artists, he has a bias for a particular color. You notice across Africa, we are identified with our local attire. If, if you see generally an African woman, what she wears is kind of, whether you're from Nigeria, Ghana, Togo, uh, South Africa, we are associated with a textile. A local textile and so one of my favorite work is the African pride where we are able to depict our culture in a more modernized way that work is an abstract it's it's 24 by 36 inches and it's, it's done on a white background but very rich and very interesting I love it and then the other one is my landscape nature it's about nature you know it has it's all about color therapy I used colors that give you that peace of mind. We live in very busy cities and you don't want to come back from work and then you are bored or you are under pressure. You want to come into your living room to see something that will give you some peace of mind. So one of the things that I love most about that work is the colors that I put in there. Uh, blue is my favorite. But as an artist, you don't really have a favorite color because you want to play with a lot of colors. So if you look at what I do here today, you see that I have varieties of colors. I'm able to play with so much colors, and I try to shy away from my regular blue to do other colors, to do other things that will have variety in them. He loves to ride as well. That's the other passion grabbing his attention besides art, and he feels there's a strong connection between the two. If you see this exhibition, you have, you'd have seen some bicycles around. There are two great passions that I have as an artist and a cyclist. So I've been able to fuse the two together here in this exhibition. So you see bicycles and art. And people ask, what's the relationship? And I said, it's just about you know, doing something that could be painstaking but result-oriented. That's the same thing you experience with art. It takes a long time to get your strokes right. It takes a long time to get your balance on the bicycle. But it evolves. So it's a cycle. Whatever, whatever it is you want to express, you want to put down, please go ahead, put it down in whatever form of art you want to do. Sylvester worked in, um, worked in the private sector for many years and came back to follow his passion, follow his art, do what he loves, enjoys doing, which is art and cycling. And today he is putting it down, he's, he's putting up um, stories or telling stories of things happening around the world and people from even outside the world are you know relating with him and telling him good job you've done well you do that so just um it's the message we're passing is that we tell people that we are africa we're beautiful we're unique we're a force to reckon with we are nigerians we are a force to reckon with too we are beautiful in every in our own unique ways we are very nice and our, we have beautiful culture we have beautiful messages to tell stories to tell um, to people Most of the times when I go riding on my bicycle, I see things 
along the road that inspire me. I stop, I take pictures, and then I come back and I sketch them, and then I produce them in my medium, which is collage. So those are the things that really get me going. Sylvester's philosophy is that life is like art, and one can learn to master the strokes of the brush, just like trying to balance oneself when riding a bicycle. With practice, the outcome is rewarding, which comes with joy, freedom, and fulfillment.